What's up, everybody? Mods Cage Radio uh, out here at Johnny Cho's Kung Fu School. Got the FKA squad in the back. I saw Chad, the Minnesota yeah. Mohawk yeah. Sudden. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, Chad. You had a chance to see our little interview with Jimmy Dexter. What say you? <laughs> well, that's true. I, I watched it, and Jimmy said I wasn't on Sure Dog. Jimmy, you have to be able to spell my name to find it, pal. I don't know what high school you didn't graduate from, but uh, it's on there. We're gonna we're gonna touch it up a little bit later on this interview. Maybe post the website that it's on. Um, obviously, you might be not be able to find it because, like I said, you didn't graduate tenth grade. But it is what it is. You said that I got manhandled in the strike force fight by your teammate. I'm actually the only person I ever heard of getting a majority, majority decision. That's two draws and one judge gave it to him. That seems like a pretty damn close fight to me. By, by one point. That seems like a pretty close fight to me. Uh, whatever you happen to say. I talked to Spencer yesterday. Me and him are cool after the fight. I called him up and said, well, Spencer, Jimmy's saying that he kicks your ass every day in practice. He didn't agree with that, and he was going to show you when you came back into the gym. Then Jason texts Bob Cook, talking all this trash about AKA, and you're, you're such a valuable member up there. Bob said he'd look into it, and just for an FYI, you are not on the team. But whatever you want to say, it makes you happy. You have a broken hand. In that interview, I didn't see no cast on your hand. What was the fight, two weeks ago? You should fight Doug Marshall instead of me. You just went three rounds at a guy with one in seven. How the hell do you call that? How does anybody call that? And you could have lost that fight. I mean, I give you props. It was very exciting, but I mean, Jimmy, let's be serious here. And you, you, you cry every time you're on camera. I mean, what sympathy bus are you riding on? I mean, I'm serious. Jimmy, let's do the fight. Al Joslin is trying to get a hold of you right now for pure combat. July 25th or 6th, Mott has his number, Jason has his number, um, Al has got a hold of Jason saying that he wants to do the fight for uh, what amount of money? Are you going to turn away money? You always say you don't have enough money and you need to fight, but you don't want to fight me. Let's just do it, Jimmy. Let's, let's get quit fucking bullshitting here and let's get it done. All you want to do is talk and you want to cry on camera. Well, let's get it done, man. Let's quit talking. Let's get the fist up in the air. All right, there you have it. Chad, the Minnesota uh, Mohawk Sutton's response to Jimmy Dexter. Now, uh, we're out here. We checked out the California Cowboy. How would you think he looked tonight, Chad? I thought he looked great. It was, uh, it was a short notice fight for him, but uh, he showed a lot of heart in the fight, and he pulled through. I thought he pulled it off. It was a close fight. Um, I know the guy's not going to be walking too good tomorrow. Uh, he beat him up with his front leg, so um, I'm really proud of him. He did great, and uh, you know, give him a little time off. We'll see him back in the gym here soon. Now, obviously, you're a pro fighter. He wants to be a pro fighter. Did you fight any smokers when you were coming up? Uh, I did out here, not so much back in Minnesota. Just you know, a lot of pads. Um, you know, smokers is totally different. It's just stand up. That's it. You know, and I like having the the ground in the arsenal, but it's great experience and. Uh, like I said, really proud of Dutch, everybody that fought tonight, man. Just to get in there is, you're a different kind of person. You know, a lot of people like to watch it and like to state their opinions on it. Um, but for anybody that gets in there, you got to give them respect because uh, it takes a kind of different kind of individual to get in there in a ring, in a cage, anything. So all props to all those people. All right, there you have it, Chad, the Minnesota Mohawk said. Any last shout outs or anything you got to say before we let you go, big man? Jimmy, let's get the contract signed. I'll fight you anywhere. I don't care. I'll fight you to PFC, Warriors Cage, um, Pure Combat, Cage Combat. Let's just get it done, man. Let's quit talking. You say you need to fight, whether the fans like you or not. I mean, it's pretty obvious how stupid you are. But let's just get it done, man. I, I mean, seriously. I mean, even after this fight, maybe I'll get a, uh, a high school diploma forged for you or something. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Chad, the Minnesota Mohawk Sutton. Jimmy Dexter, you're on notice. I'll try to get a response from Jimmy. Thanks, Chad.